Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So this video here is just basically a tour of the DNA Custom Paints head office in Melbourne in Scoresby is the suburb. So I just did a two day uh, training course here and I decided to get some footage uh, to show you guys exactly what it's like down there. So they've got a big range of different spray guns. This is their Devilvis range. So they've got everything from the SR SRI Pro, GTI Pro, GTI Pro Lite, the Primer guns and even the SGK. Uh, which is the starting line gun. Oh, sorry, the SLG, starting line gun. Um, yeah, I've never used one, and from what I can tell, they're a budget gun, and they're not made very well. So, either way, I'm not going to be concentrating on spray guns for this video. It's just a look around at, at some of this beautiful airbrushing artwork that's been done, and a good look around the um, uh, different colours and the range that they've got. So this showroom had just been um, taken apart and used at the uh, Collision Repair Expo. So you can see there's sort of stuff still all around the joint. This one looks really nice. Whoever did that airbrushing there is a very talented artist. I'd love to be able to get up to that standard one day. However, I'm not uh, holding my breath. So even some of the effects that they've got on these wheels really have to be seen um, in person to actually truly appreciate it, I think. So they've got a lot, lot of different um, air tools there and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's, it's a very good place to come to. Even if you're just in the area and you wanted to come down and have a look what's in there, I'd recommend it. There's a great crew. Um, it's only a small crew. Uh, I was surprised when they told me there's only about 10 people that work for DNA Custom Paints, but they've got a very good morale and they're all uh, happy and happy to answer questions. So even this bin here, there was supposedly a guy, this is um, after two months of airbrushing, he's able to do stuff like that. So um, yeah, some really cool effects with those mutant crystals and just a totally massive range of paints. And um, with custom paints, uh, this is probably uh, not even half of what you could do. There is so many variations. You can use one candy over the top of another candy over the top of a different base coat and you're just going to change the colour again. So it really stops with your imagination uh, when you're dealing with these kind of custom paints. And they, they, with these little shapes, these car shapes, they mask a piece off just to show you the base coat colour that they're going over the top of. Where you see those lines, that's just a a bit of a look at the colour that they've gone over the top of with their candies. We've got a good range of candy base coats as well, which is a good option if you're going to be doing it on, say, an everyday driver, and if you get a few stone chips in the bonnet or the fenders, well then it's going to be a lot easier to colour match those candy base coats. So I do love all this airbrushing. Really like it. There's some more of the air tools. These guys um, do all the Vodafone 888 racing cars, which um, a lot of my Australian followers, I'm sure, would know, especially if you like the V8 supercars. So that's one of the holographics. It's a pretty cool looking effect on that. I've got some of that. So I'll be doing videos, um, trying my best to teach you guys how to use as much of these products as I have, but this video here it really is just a bit of a tour around their workshop. It's definitely good fun spending five or ten minutes in there, having a look at all the good stuff they've got there. This was done for the head sales manager's um, mini moak. A few DNA custom paint shirts there. They've got all that kind of cool stuff with hats and lots of merchandise. And as you'll see later on in the video when I do the interview with Scott, um, they are looking at expanding. They're getting a lot of interest in the USA and North America and stuff like that. So hopefully in the, the near future when they're ready, they'll be moving into more parts of the world. It's one of those things that they don't want to, from what they tell me, they don't want to rush in and not be ready. Uh, so if you get your product into a big country like America, you need the supplies and the 
um, the training and stuff like that to back it up, no use in getting it in there. And then if you need some color after pa half painting a car and you need a couple more liters of it, and then you've got to wait for six or seven months until the next shipment comes in, well, you're, you're gonna be a little bit let, let down by the company. So that's why they're just making sure they're ready before they um, go and move into the US and Canada and stuff like that. So they're just gonna make sure they do it properly. So, but um, if you want to learn a little bit more about the DNA products range, check out their website. I'll be putting a link in the description below of this video. Um, they do ship worldwide. Uh, I'm not sure about the uh, shipping cost though. It's obviously gonna depend on what it is. If you just wanted some of their flakes, I'm sure the shipping would be quite small. However, if you wanted some a clear kit, I mean, I wouldn't even know. However, Australia-wide, it's actually not too expensive at all. And they do have distributors Australia-wide too, so... They're very, definitely very reasonably priced. I like this bonnet, which was obviously done specifically for DNA, because you can see that DNA in the middle of that crystal ball. Looks pretty awesome. Anyway, here we go. I um, am giving Scott from DNA an interview next. I suppose our research and development is ongoing. It, it's, uh, it never stops. We're, we're never really 100% satisfied with any one product being the best that it can be. We always believe there's room for improvement, whether yep. that be better quality resins, um, better quality colours, new processes, simpler processes that are easier for a painter to apply. Um, and we're always listening to guys out in the market, seeing what guys are trying to do, how they're trying to push the boundaries, and you know, bring bring tools to the table that guys can use to create some pretty awesome effects. Yeah, all it, all our batches are manufactured to the same formulation and measured against the standards. Yeah. So the rule the rule measured colour wise and so forth and against our standards cards to make sure that they're all the same. Yep. And flakes and stuff like that, they're all very uniform across the board. Flakes are very uniform across the board, however, with the nature of flakes and the tinting processes and colouring with flakes, there's always that little disclaimer that batch variation may occur. Yeah. It's, it's impossible to guarantee a flake will be the exact same colour every yeah. single time. Oh, cool. Um, and yeah, so the products and services you guys uh, supply, it is um, obviously the custom paints market. Yeah. You guys do spray guns as well. Um, tell us a little bit more about some of the other stuff you guys... Um... We also do pneumatic air tools, so yep. we do impact guns, ratchets, sanders, belt sanders, orbital sanders, mini polishers, standard polishers, cutting wheels, cutters, abrasives. Uh, we also do X-mesh abrasives, which are Velcro abrasives on a mesh material allowing the air to breathe straight through for dust extraction. So just about anything you're going to need in a body shop, other than Pretty the... Much conventional paint system which you guys don't Absolutely. do. Absolutely, and, and no masking tape or anything like that yeah. at this time, so uh, we stick more to the tools for the job. Yeah, uh, good stuff. All our products are manufactured here, all our paints are manufactured here in Melbourne, so yeah. uh, I don't believe there's another company manufacturing custom paints anywhere in Australia. Yeah. Um, a lot of our users or a lot of people who've heard about DNA aren't quite aware that it is a fully Australian company. We yeah. do manufacture all of our candies and Clears and everything here in Melbourne. Yep. Um, yeah, everyone's also aware that we do training, ongoing training and technical support. We yep. have distributors pretty much all over Australia now and many inquiries coming in internationally. Yep. So, so you have South Africa as well? We've got uh, we've got distributor in South Africa, um, we've got distributors in Japan, yep. um, we've got distributors in New Zealand, we have some distributors with our products in Europe, particularly on our Trident airbrush paints. Yep. Um, yeah, so, and we're getting more and more inquiries from the States regularly, so pretty soon, hopefully, you'll see us yeah. with a presence over in the States. Yeah, no, that'd be great, but I guess you've got to be ready for it. Mm, absolutely. Because so. it's a big place, America. Absolutely. So hopefully, coming their way soon, will be some DNA paints. Absolutely. It is, um, yeah, it's, a lot cheaper than any of the competition here in Australia anyway. Mm -hmm. At least half the price from, from what I can tell. Yep. Um, so, yeah, it's it brings a bit of fun back into spray painting. For yeah. someone who 
just spray paints, automotive smash repair, yeah. you can just get out there and have a bit of fun. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I'm no painter myself and yeah. I, I get out there and, and mix it up a bit as well. And have yeah. A bit of a place, so. yeah. There you guys go. I decided just to finish off with the piece that I created after doing that two day course that I was here for. Um, that one on the right's mine and this one on the left here was done by one of the other students. Uh, they were from Suncorp Insurance, the Shannon side, and they're just learning a little bit more about custom paints, which I thought was quite a good thing that their boss did for them. So there you guys go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.